So you're sitting there, you think, <laughs> and you're watching, you think, another person speak. So you think that you're sitting there with free will inside your body and you had choice to walk up the stairs, to come here, to sit down and listen to somebody that's external to you and different. But this is only what you think. This isn't actually the experience. The experience is that nobody's sitting there, that there isn't anybody sitting there. There is, the experience is everything. The experience is what's happening. The experience isn't that there's somebody sitting there. That's an imagination, that's a waking dream that's happening, that somebody's sitting there. That you might notice that the somebody that you imagine yourself to be is happening in past and future. It's not actually here. So if you imagine yourself, it's always something that's happened or going to happen. So something that you've done or something that you're going to be. Like if you try to imagine yourself here, that's even a weird thing because you're kind of pulling yourself out of your body and looking at yourself sitting there. It's not an actuality. Your experience is everything. And what I mean by everything is no thing. Your experience is this, which is undefinable, which you can't speak about, which you can't describe. Your experience is existence happening. And I'm going to jump around words so that um, we can all communicate because that's not the traditional way in which it's spoken about. So traditionally it would be, say, be said that your experience is consciousness or the experience is consciousness. There is consciousness happening. But actually when you really go into consciousness, consciousness isn't separate from everything. And you could simply say there is everything that is conscious or there is everything. There isn't even something that's behind here that's conscious of everything. There is simply everything. When you really dive into experience, there is simply this happening. And this is unknowable. This is mysterious. But yet, it's knowing itself. There is an awakeness that knows itself. And it's prior to thought. So there is a knowing of this table prior to you labeling a table. There is a knowing of this, this, prior to you labeling it as a blue sheet or this as a flower, a yellow flower. It, it, it is simply known prior to your description of it. But as humans, we're so lost in our description of things that we believe that to be a reality. We believe that to be truth. We believe, we're so hypnotized by thought, that we're sitting here listening to someone called Lisa speak and that Lisa came from time. And we believe that to be reality, whereas that's got nothing to do with what's actually happening here. This is your description that you've been taught. These are words that you've learnt. You didn't know that when you were one or two years old, but yet there was still life happening.